All right. I am going to start off with a story. I'm going to start off with a story. And I'd love to hear any of your guys' sort of just thoughts about the story. Um, and then uh, we'll move on to the uh, presentations. So here's a story um, from one of my favorite books. And the story goes like this. So God came down. He was walking as a human. And he was hungry. And he was hanging out with his boys. And he saw in a distance, he saw a fig tree. Okay? So God was a human, saw a fig tree, really hungry, and he could tell it was a fig tree, it was full of leaves, it looked like it was a good fig tree, and he walked up to the fig tree, and there were no figs on it. You know how you get when you're hungry, right? And so he was, what he did is he cursed the fig tree, he got mad at the fig tree because there were no figs on it, and he said, I curse you uh, to die. And the fig tree died. Now, um, here's the other thing though, it was not fig season. So God was mad at the fig tree for not producing figs when it wasn't even the season for figs. And he cursed the fig tree to die. And there it goes. The fig tree dies. So, with that story, human nature. Just that story, what would be a lesson that we could learn from a story like that? You don't always get what you want. That could be a lesson for sure. So here, here's a question. Remember the secret to make more money? Make yourself valuable. It wasn't valuable at all, so he killed it. Okay, right? That's, that's a good thing, too. So the secret to make more money... Do you remember the secret to make more money, Coach Al? No? The no. secret to make more money is what, Christian? To make yourself more valuable. To, to be more valuable, right? Make yourself more valuable. So... That's what I was about to say. The secret <laughs> to make more money... Because, true or false, the more valuable something it is, the more it's worth, right? How does something become more valuable? What makes something valuable? And I'm not talking about like, I'm not talking about something personal to you like your great grandmother's photo album. I'm talking about what we agree in society is something like a diamond is valuable, right? So what makes something valuable? Yeah. When it's important to somebody, it's amazing. When it's important to somebody, well, we're not talking about individually, but what makes something more... Rare. Yeah. When it's rare, right? <laughs> right? So, the more rare something is, the more valuable it is. A rock is common. A diamond is not. That's why a diamond's worth more than a rock, even though... It, Diamond is sort of a sort of rock, right? So, <clears throat> to be more, to make more money, you need to become more valuable. To be more valuable, you have to become rare. Now, here's the thing: a fig producing figs in season is that rare? No, it's common. Not at all. Everyone produces something in season. Yeah, everyone like if strawberries produce strawberries in season. Lemon trees produce lemon trees in season. But what is rare is a tree or a plant bearing fruit out of season. That's what I'm saying, that's what makes it good. Yeah, and so what does, that, what does that look like, being productive out of season? Well, it means when you're not ready. Because here's the thing, here's an interesting thing, imagine this. Imagine this, here's a hypothetical scenario. You're walking through Walmart, okay? You see on the ground an iPhone X, okay? No passcode, you pick it up, no passcode, okay? iPhone X, no passcode. Now, you don't have to answer out loud, but if you're completely honest with yourself, would you be keeping that? Or would you be trying to find the owner? Yeah. I'd sell it. You'd sell it? So that's still keeping it in a sense, but yeah, you're selling it. You're, you're taking it. You're taking what's not yours. Um, and, I, and honestly, at your age, at your age, I probably most definitely would have kept that, that too. Now, here's the second question though. Suppose you're an adult, Suppose you're an adult, fast forward 10 years from now, you're super successful, you got millions of dollars in the bank. Millions of dollars, money ain't no thing. At all. And you see the iPhone. It would be fair to say the number would at least go up. I'm not saying everyone, when they have a lot of money, would give it back, but from a lot of people I asked yesterday, like, oh yeah, if money wasn't a thing, yeah, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't care. Is that, like, the evidence is, based on my research, more people, if they had money, would, would some of the people that would have kept it when they were broke wouldn't keep it when they have money, right? And I only ha I only thought of this because I watched who's that? He's a white rapper. I think his name's Logic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Logic found um, he found a wallet at an airport and it had like seven hundred bucks in it or something like that. And he was like, he's like, man, old me would have for sure kept that. But he, you know, he said he he turned it in or whatever, right? And it's like, yeah, that makes sense. But um, the reason why I bring that up though is because. 
that is an idea of producing out of season. For example, when I just get more money, I'll be a little more honest, right? If I just got, if I just got more of this, I'd do this. If I just got more of this, I'll, you know, I, I know I should probably be working harder in school, but maybe when I get out of this living situation or maybe when I get out of this relationship or if I can just be more healthy or I should probably wake up and go work out. I just need a little more sleep. I just, and it's this whole idea of like, I'm, I don't feel like it right now. I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it because you're not in season. But when you do something, when you don't feel like it, that's producing out of season. That is what producing out of season is. And so, yeah, we could look at that story and go, yeah, God was a jerk for, for telling the fig tree to die. But at the same time, you could look at it and say, what can I learn from it? And go, maybe I should try to produce more when I'm not feeling like it. And I'm bringing that up for a reason because we're here, we're into, hey, Andy, guys, I'm, I'm bringing this up for a reason because we're here at the day of the project being due. And sure enough, there's a lot of students that did not turn it in. And you had five days to do it. And I think that the reason why it wasn't done for a lot of students is because you didn't manage your time, you didn't care, you know. When are you going to care? Oh, I'll care when I start making money. I'll start caring about my work when I get paid for it, but I'm not going to care for my work here at school. Well, what makes you think you're going to care when you actually get a job? Because I'm getting paid. Okay, so you're waiting for the season. It's just a constantly, you're never, if that's the attitude, sure, you might make some money working in construction, but you're going to be struggling financially your whole life if that's your attitude. If that's your attitude. You know, once you start becoming valuable, that's when you start making real money. And you only become valuable when you start doing things that other people aren't. And it's common to progress. It's common to put things off, right? Um, so, um, that said, uh, anyone have any comments?